So here's a brief tutorial on the Paste app, which uh, after you've installed, I wanna walk you through my configurations, which work really great for me. So just clicking on the icon at the top and clicking Preferences, we'll go through and you can see here how I have it configured. Launch Paste on Startup, Enable Direct Paste. Uh, always paste as plain text, so paste will in general save all of the formatting, which is preferred. Uh, I've used it both ways, and in general I like to save all the formatting because it saves exactly what you copied. Um, so I don't have that selected. And then I also have uh, unlimited, so it's saving all of my clipboard data forever. Um, and I haven't run into any storage issues or slowing down my machine, so I'm not really worried about that. And here are the shortcuts. Uh, we are using um, Command-Shift-V to actually enable the, the Paste dashboard, so we'll show you that in action. But here I just wanted to show you um, the rest of those settings. Those are pretty much default. I don't really do anything here with the rules and I don't have it synced, which is not really a problem. So let me just show you paste in action and, and why it's a, a lifesaver. So um, in general, you'll get in the habit of just copying things uh, random all the time. So let's say there's a form you've put a lot of time into putting a response and we've all had those browser tabs refresh and lose that date or things like that. So that hasn't happened to me since I've started using paste, which has saved a lot of time and effort. So for example, here I can just command C, copy this. You'll hear that little sound, which indicates it's been copied with clipboard. There it is again. And then let's say I wanted to go ahead and paste it. So to bring up the paste dashboard, it's command shift V. And then you'll see this down here and you'll see here's what I um, pasted. And then if I just double click on that, boom, it'll paste that in there and it saves the formatting. Um, and now let me just show you a little bit more about the power of paste. So here we have this stream of everything I've copied. It's essentially like time machine for your clipboard. And the great thing is I can save certain things to uh, pins, to uh, pin boards. So I've created pin boards for, let's say, email communications or templates that I want to reuse over and over again for email, which has really, really uh, been very, very effective. So you can change the name of these and, and I'll show you an example of that. So if I go to my Delta, Delta Agency links, you'll see I have hex colors, my brand colors I've saved here. I have links to um, some URLs that I use for a lot of things like a success case, etc. Um, basic footer, etc. You know, company name with that fancy Delta symbol, which is always a pain to try and look up and figure out what that is. And then here's something again where I used, um, let's say here, this email templates, which makes it really easy to just uh, create emails and, and get them out the door very, very quickly. So again, Command Shift V to bring up the paste uh, pin boards or clipboard history. And then you can see, you can save things to, let's say each of your different partners where you have some communications or different um, channels or pin boards for email templates, brand information, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So again, this has been a very, very brief tutorial of Paste, uh, which is an extremely powerful app. Uh, I definitely recommend everybody get it. It's worth the uh, 15 or so dollars that it costs to install and it will save you a lot of time and increase your efficiency. So thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.